Silent Hill 3 is rated M by the SRB. Viewer discretion is advised. Oh! Yeah, I'm not, uh, I'm not going to play with uh, doggies or closers. Now, I'm going to try to take care of one of these at a time. I'm going to turn off my lights so he doesn't see me as much. But I do have to say, this is the worst setup for trying to fight a closer is in a closed area. Oh god, seriously. Dude, get over here. I don't want you to be with the other ones. You better not be over here. Is he over here? No. Okay, dude. Hey. No? That means that all three of them are over here. Oh, no, screw it. There's one, two, three, no, no, no can do. I'm sorry, folks. I'm not going to take on three of them, especially all together. All right. So let's use that hanger now. Only if it was that simple, man. Holy cow. All right, let's climb this ladder. There's some weird noises coming from outside, and it's kind of creeping me out because I have my... I'm recording this in the dark, actually. Why is there something like this here? This is in a hospital? Yeah, that is kind of creepy, actually. Gurneys. Locked. Locked. Well, let's see where the escalator leads us. It leads us to a giant pit. Oh my god. Yeah, looking at this kind of creeps me out because that's just literally darkness down there. And you do not know where that goes. It's uh, categories under a bottomless pit, so instant death. Not a good idea. Like, just, yeah. Anyway, we have a static TV over here, so let's check this out. That's ominous. A little bit. Could see a little bit of something there. Get into it a little bit more later on. So at the save point here, let's, let's save, definitely. Alright. So we can continue down, well, not here, but we can go in here. But I don't want to go in there right now. I'm going to go in over here. We also have stairs going up, which we'll get to in just one moment. Got some numb bodies. I can take them on, why not? Now, num fighting a group of numb bodies, I'm quite I'm quite fine at actually doing. Because they barely even hit, hit me. I'm probably going to have to heal after this, but still. Thank you for telling me that I'm low on battery controller one. Alrighty. Okay, so... Let's get my controller as she catches her breath. And my my controller is vibrating also, which is an indication that 
I my health is is also low. So I got orange. It's thriving a little bit. Mm, we'll take one just to go back to yellow. It's fine. Bunch of distempered mannequins. As long as they don't come alive, I'm good. Got a health drink and some bullets. And now we can actually get out here because it was locked. And you're like, what? what is here? Well, something's in the back with us. We've got some broken doors, more broken doors. Now we have actually a closer around the corner. Look how if you turn the light off, it's like pitch black, basically. All right, he's over here. I'm going the other way, of course. I'm gonna try to kill him the best I can without getting hit. Well, technically, oh, that's gonna hurt, definitely. But again, these, these are called closers because you do not want to fight them in closed spaces. actually hit me. Actually good. Let's, let's get there in yellow at least. See, they take off a lot. You done? You done? You done? You finished? Alright, I'm actually pulsating a little bit. Let's go back to there. Okay. I should actually point out the closers are probably most likely female, but not male. I keep on saying he, even though I probably should regard them as she. And if we go over here, there is a locked door. So we need some sort of key. Now, I believe this is actually the the hallway that we actually came out of to go down to the other world. No, no, I don't think it, no, I don't think it is. Maybe it might be. But anyway, I didn't want to go in that door that had that gurney outside just in the hallway because we can actually do it from the back. And uh, we are in a, apparently a jewelry store. And we got a walnut for trouble. Fantastic. There's a real nice silver ring here last time I came here. Bummer, it's gone. Well, it is an alternative dimension. So may silver doesn't exist in this world. Anyway. Oh yeah, I want to point out that the uh, bulletproof vest. The bulletproof vest also does one other thing, and it it slows you down, so it doesn't actually you don't sprint at full speed. So while wearing it, you won't run at full speed. But if you're going in close corners, around hallways, I don't see the sense in actually running anyway. So. If you're going to take the hits, might as well put the ja jacket on and actually take them. And if you're one of it, you want to basically flee, then take it off, make sure you don't get hit, and battle a nice closer that's here again. All right. No, stop sticking that that bone thing at me, please. No, no, no. Bad closer. Let me stab you with this knife for over and over again. Oh, shut up! Come on. Hush. 
And that's not it. Holy cow, we have... Now, before, when we went on the actual dog, uh, Splitheads, eating something, we didn't have a light on. We have a light now, so it's going to notice us if we go near it. Oh, maybe not. I do have to say that it happened to me before, so you do want to kind of sneak up on them. It'd be best probably to turn off your light and then sneak up on them. Because it has happened to me like on multiple ones. You could do that, but it'd probably be a good idea if you want to sneak up on a split head or a group of split heads is to turn off your light and then try to stab them or melee them. Anyway, we can go in this washroom for absolutely no reason. There's nothing in here. Like, we can't even examine any toilets. There's nothing in here. I don't know why it exists other than a dead end room. All right, more locked and more broken doors. Are we good? Yeah, we're good. Okay, let's continue on. Check this door, and this door. All right, well, this door looks interesting. It has writing on it. Let's see. It's locked. The door has a, rest, has a red crescent with a round dent. There's some writing in the same color red, basically blood red. Piling up the three, 300th day and night. From beyond the door, cries of pain are heard. And the final destination has become real through though though yeah, through word words words need to come out of my mouth come on ah though not a blessed beginning oh okay i thought there was more oh well okay so what do we do here well we got to find something round or crescent round or crescent one or the other. All right. This looks like a lovely restaurant with a barbecue dog. <laughs> what is this? Barbecue dog? Who the hell would make something like this? Furthermore, who the hell would eat it? There's something beneath the dog's stomach. Well, you touch that. I have no desire to touch that. I have a cookie. Cool. I do have to say, this place out of the entire place looks the most normal. Ish. <laughs> anyway, if we come over here, we have a health drink and a first aid kit. And can't go here. This disgusting smell coming from the pot. I better keep away. Yeah. Well. There's been other things like that, that, you know, like Resident Evil 7, opening the pot and the disgusting soup. Uh, anyway, a row of wine bottles. I don't really feel eating or drinking stuff from an alternate reality, okay? Hey, you go, girl. You don't want to eat stuff from an alternate dimension? Go with it. You had no desire to eat the barbecue dog there, so go with the, go with the flow. I do have to say it's, it looks very roomy here, especially with here. Like, yeah, if the couches weren't like soaked in blood, maybe it would be a little bit better. But hey, and getting here would be a pain, also because we would have to go up broken escalators and a really creepy ass hallways in a mall. All right, so where do we use this key? Well, we've only come across one locked door, so let's go with that locked door. See if it works. I just do have to say, it's like it just you turn the light off, you barely see anything. Yep, we use our cookie. 
and we go through. Yeah, another dining area. A couple health drinks right here. And of course, the steel pipe. Like basically a staple in like Silent Hill lore, I guess, is that you always get the steel pipe. So steel pipe, same as the the knife. You can use a, a three combo basically if you tap it. Or you can do an overhead swing by hanging on to the actual button. The overhead, a lot better, I have to say. So let's go out here and see what happens. Well, we got something moaning and groaning. Oh, hey. Bam. 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 Wow, that steel pipe is fantastic, I have to say. It, it, does, it does the job. Just, just, just look at this place. It's like, obviously there's a big ladder in the, in the middle, but... Oh, man, it's just... And it's interesting, I don't have a thing, like, for being in the dark. Like, I'm not scared of the dark, or... Like, I actually like the darkness, but... Just... This game, man... Just gets to me. Bam! Oh, you got me! You... you take that! Yeah, already. Oh, it's locked. Okay. We've got a locked door there. And we got one of those, like, things that enemies can eat. Let's try this. Well, let's go in here. Oh, it's the bakery. Yeah, it's Helen's bakery. I have to say, she might get a, a health fire violation with all this, like, possible mold around, but it's the bakery. What do you know? Cool. Oh, yeah, we can go in the back and get another item. The detergent. Okay, now we'll get into the bleach and detergent. All right, so we got the bleach. And if we actually examine it... And it says, danger, do not mix. Hmm. Mix with an acidic detergent it will produce poisonous chl uh, cl uh, chlorine gas. Hmm, interesting. We just picked up some detergent also. And it says, danger, do not mix. And it says, mix with chlorine bleach. It will produce poisonous chlorine gas. Hmm. What are we going to do with this? Well, we're, well... We're not too far of what we're actually, what we need the, with these items for. Yeah, let's see what I hear. It's a door that I thought wasn't actually going to do anything. All right, so here we have a fan and a broken door, but we can also turn the fan off. So if we go through here, you don't necessarily need to turn the fan off, but it'd probably be good to do it right now. But if we go over here, that's a lot of bugs. Let's try to go through the bugs. Well, yeah, I'm not going any further. It's creepy and <laughs> dangerous to boot. There's got to be a way. Well, I can't stab them one by one. Some insecticide would do the trick. Well, let's... Let's swat them. Let's swat, swat some bug. And apparently, the bugs are a wall. Go figure. Anyway, there's a trash can over here. I think it's time to make uh, do some chemistry, folks. So let's combine both of these and use them. It says, do not mix. Heather says otherwise.
But if we actually turn this fan on, the gas would go through that hallway a little more. Now the thing is, I always thought you had to turn the fan off to go inside, but you don't really need to. You can just go inside, and the gas is dispersed. I use this to make the gas easier. Best not to stick my head too far in. Who knows what's left inside? Yeah, that's probably good. But, as you can see, all the bugs are gone.